programming in MathCAD is analogous to maybe a macro in Excel or something like that. The, the nice thing about programming in MathCAD is that anybody can do it. It doesn't require a pre-existing skill set in scripting or coding. It doesn't require us to know how to use compilers or how to write code or write script. So in MathCAD, as long as you know what your logic is that you want to execute, you can write a program. And a program can be something that iterates over a lot of inputs, that does a lot of checking, a lot of if statements, nested if statements, things like that. So, so we're just gonna take a look at how to create a program and we'll write a very simple program. So on the math tab over here, if we go just about to center, we see this programming button. And if we click on that, we can see some programming constructs. So we have an if statement, we have an else statement, so the if else, we have an else if, uh, we have an also if, which is um, a little bit out of the ordinary, but it can be useful. And there's a while loop and there's a for loop, okay, and then a break and continue. So amazingly, there is quite a bit we can do with these basic constructs. And when we're writing a program in MathCAD, all of the math still goes into the program using its natural native math notation. Okay, so that's one of the things that makes MathCAD so useful is that the math is very transparent. And if we're programming in MathCAD, the math is still transparent. So to create a program, we start here. Okay, we start with this vertical bar. So if I click on that vertical bar, it now I've created a program and we can add more lines to that program by hitting enter or, or clicking there again. And so now we have four executable lines. Okay, so we have four placeholders and now it's up to us to fill in the blanks on what we want to do on each line. So this is where we go back to these constructs and we use these these constructs and we also assign variables inside a program using this reverse arrow. Okay, so let's write a program, okay, that takes two columns of numbers and we'll call them mass and acceleration. And then maybe we'll calculate force for every combination. So let's just create a table of inputs here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the matrices and tables and maybe you're creating a table of inputs just like this, just like I am, or maybe you're gonna import this data from another file it either way is fine. So we're gonna call the left column force. We'll give it units of, I'm sorry, let's call it mass, mass. And we'll do units of kilograms there. And then on the right column, we'll use acceleration. And then here we can use uh, meters per second squared. And so then we're, we're just gonna put in some numbers here quickly. So 7.8. And obviously here in this case, we're not using a standard acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. We're using a couple different accelerations. So now normally in MathCAD, if we wanted to calculate mass times acceleration for each row going across, we would type mass times acceleration, just like we did earlier. We would do mass times acceleration like this, and then we would get three outputs. We would get three outputs because we have three row entries, three pairs of values. So normally that's what we would do. But now consider the case where we want to process every single combination. Okay, we want to process every combination. So instead of having three outputs, we're going to have nine outputs. Okay, for every, every possible pairing of mass and acceleration. So in order to do that, we need to use a program. So let's go ahead and create a program to do that. So I'm going to, just as we did before, go to the math tab, go to the programming and click on this bar. So now we've created a program. I'm gonna add a couple lines to it. And then we're just gonna go to the top line and get started. 
So now here, we want to iterate over all of the entries in the mass vector. And then we want to iterate over all of the entries in the acceleration vector. So we want to loop over both of those. And so we're going to start out with a for loop that loops over the mass vector. Okay, so we're just going to click on the for loop and it puts in the for construct. It puts in the placeholders where you need to fill in the blanks. So we're going to give our for our looping variable a name i. That's an independent looping variable. And we're going to say as i goes from zero to the number of rows in the mass vector, minus one. Okay, so we have three rows in the mass vector. Okay, so rows minus one, or three minus one is two. So we're going to loop from zero to two. And then the same thing, okay, so four. And below, we can type forces equals, and we'll see our three by three array of forces. So we've iterated over every single combination of our inputs. Okay, so that's how you write a program in MathPad. It lets you iterate, and then you can also do checking conditions. So we could easily add in here an if statement that checks, is this force greater than 65 newtons? Is, if it is, we pass, otherwise we fail. So we can add those kinds of checks into our programs as well. But as you can see, you don't have to know how to program. There's no compiler, there's no uh, real programming syntax, there's no scripting. We click on these constructs and then we fill in the blanks and the math is uh, still the math as we're used to seeing it. So that's a little bit of an introduction to programming.